It was taboo for decades, but now you don't have to be afraid of wearing white after Labor Day. So I'm being told. <laughs> joining us today to tell us how to do that is fashion stylist Tammy Lugo. And joining her to tell us about a special fashion event surrounding wearing white is Tosh Johnson and Fabian Reed. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Uh, you ladies all look fabulous, I must say. And to uh, to kind of step out of my comfort zone for this, I even wore some white shoes, which <laughs> that's crazy for me because I'm a Midwestern girl and you don't wear white after Labor Day, but that's not the case anymore, Tammy. Not anymore. All rules are out the door. I'll say, now I always thought that after the whole white thing was just, you know, kind of going into your fall colors and you want to go dark. Is there a way to work white in that can still make it work for fall? Oh, definitely, definitely. And you can do all white head to toe, which I'll show you how to do that as well. But yeah, you can definitely add white to your wardrobe now. So, okay, well, I was going to say, maybe I thought maybe because we live in Florida, it was a little easier, but you're saying it should be all over the country. We got to let this go. Yes, we got to let it go. <laughs> I'm struggling, but she brought some looks to share with us here. So let's go ahead and welcome our first model out so you can tell us about her yes, look. Yes, the first model, Kelsey. She is coming out with this sporty all white look. This is great for like if you're going to a brunch or, you know, a casual lunch date, you can do all white, especially here in Florida. She's got a top shop and cut from the cloth, the flared cut off jeans, hat, suede, the little crossover body, um, bag, it's perfect, casual, and chic at the same time in all white. Well, I remember we talked about flared jeans last time you were on, saying that you can wear them again. So now to top it with the white, you're not even saying winter white. I was ready to have that argument. <laughs> I mean, I was ready to hear like this, it has to be a different shade. Not the case either. No, white is white, but yes, you're gonna see a different shade in the next model. Okay, well, let's bring out the next model here. The next model. Um, Esmeralda is wearing a nice day. Let's, um, let's say you're going to a wedding. This is a perfect style. It's classy. The flare on the side of the, you know, her sleeve. It's perfect for the wedding. Her nude shoes to elongate her legs so that, you know, her feet look nude, which gives her very nice slick effect, her black clutch and beautiful earrings, all from Nordstrom, by the way. Okay, you're really throwing me for a loop. First, you're telling me I can wear white. Doesn't necessarily have to be winter white. And then you throw out white for a wedding? Yes. Tammy, I can't take this yes. today. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the trick. The model was actually wearing an ivory shade of white. Oh. So it's not like white, white. You don't want to look exactly like the bride, mm -hmm. but it is doable, especially in, in, in the evening, too. If you have a dinner date, you can do that type of white, that shade of white. Okay, and I know you got one more model as I am still a little on the skeptic side. <laughs> and Sharima, she's our last girl and she is doing all white. Again, this is for that evening party. You're going to an all white party. This is the look to go for. It's from ASOS and she's got white from head to toe as well as her shoes. Even the shoes. Yes. She's rocking the shoes with no problem and as I was insecure putting mine exactly. on. Exactly. It was also very body flattering because she had the peplum going on, which flatters almost any body shape. So that was a great look as well. Well, I'm so glad you brought up evening looks because this introduces us and brings in our next guests here talking about an event that celebrates wearing white, if you Absolutely. will. Tell yeah. us about it, Tosh. And after Labor Day, too. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the event. Well, um, it's called Dinian Blanc. It's a Parisian-themed pop-up picnic that's held all over the world. It's a global phenomenon, and we are actually bringing it to Orlando for the first time. We're actually a part of a team called Jaga Production, Fabian and I, as well as um, two others, Lisa Greenwood and Christopher Abrams. It is a flash mob of a picnic. People come out all dressed in white from head to toe like you saw in Sharima in the most elegant style ever and they come with their own picnic baskets with food in them. They basically chairs come and chairs and tables. <laughs> they're escorted from a departure point because they don't know where they're going. It's a secret location. Oh. It's a really amazing experience and of course when they get there there's entertainment, there's music, there's people that's all dressed up in white and just excited to have a great time and eat 
dinner and drink wine. So we're looking at some pictures right now for it, and it looks, I mean, you hear about these all white parties. I've never been to one, but how wonderful is it to do it one after Labor Day in a picnic? I think picnic, messy, I need to be in something that I'm not gonna spill ketchup all down the front of me. I mean, you're kind of combining the two worlds. How important is yes. that for this event? And that's actually what makes it fun. It's not just a typical event, it's an, it's an actual experience, it's a journey. Uh, people love the secrecy part of it. They do not know the destination, like uh, mm -hmm. Tash said. Right. You just go. if if you get chosen to be invited because this year we had over like 3,000 on the waiting list so with their with plus, the plus one with their plus one so that's over 6,000 on the waiting list oh my god and only a thousand get to attend so if you do get chosen to attend then uh, when you register you select a departure point so you don't really know where you're going so that secrecy makes the event very excited very 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 it gives you that sense of exclusivity ladies thank you so much for all coming on you're making thank me you. feel a little better you're making me feel a little better <laughs> yeah, glad to hear great looking <laughs> outfits here so uh, thank you for your time today we do appreciate no, it no thank you, you for having us good luck on the event thank, thank you, you.